Hello and welcome back to the kitchen, all my uh, kitchen gadget lovers. I got another treat for you today. You know, this is David with Philippine American Couple. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that alert bell. We really appreciate it. Well, you know how much I love gadgets, and especially kitchen gadgets. Now, I went out and bought a brand new vegetable chopper because the one that I had, the red one that there, I have a video on, I kind of wore it out and it broke. So uh, we got another one. This one comes from like a, a specialty home goods stores. It runs $50 USD, so it's really expensive compared to the one that I had. So I'm hoping by spending more money, I'm getting a better quality. So let me tell you a little bit about what this says. So it's basically just a good grips chopper, rotating stainless steel blades. Uh, and let me just show you how it works and breaks down, might be easier. So what we have, here's the, the whole unit. It does have a locking mechanism like that so that you can shorten it for storage. So that's good, saves you know a couple of inches of space. It comes apart like this. Now here's the things that I don't like and what I had problems with my red one. Right through here, how these things lock. And I'll get you a close-up in a second. Okay. All right, so here's, here's what I worry about. You see this area here? Um, that thinner plastic, I got a feeling uh, it's going to crack and break and chip off. Now, it doesn't make the unit worthless, but it is just something that happens. So you got to be really careful. So, But what we have here is our stainless steel blades. This is what they call the wiper, this white plastic thing, or clear plastic. And it comes off like this. Your blades also come off on this one so that you can wash and get up in here, which is really nice. And basically all it does is screws on and locks like that. So that's real simple. And the nice thing is <laughs> on this one, it actually tells you marks here and here, how to put the wiper back on. The red one, you know, I, I kind of had to figure it out. So that's what we do there. Remember, we just do this. This is a bottom chopping plate. So you can chop on this is the intentions. And then what you can do with your plastic container here, it does have units of measurements. So you can chop like if you want a quarter cup of, a, of carrots, well, here you go. And then you can take this out and use it like that, or use this like that, or you can simply chop straight on to your cutting board. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. I always think carrots are some of the hardest things to chop. And these are pretty fresh, so they're hard. So let's just see if our brand new little chopper a brand new little chopper. You can see I got a few carrots in there. Can do the job. All right, let's just see. Well, I'll get you a close up of the carrots. Our carrots. All right, it did a great job on those carrots. So I'm impressed by the carrots, so that's good news. Get that out. Now it also says that it, it's good for nuts. So I got a bunch of nuts here. We're just gonna throw these in here and I'm gonna try the nuts. Because some nuts are extremely hard like almonds. There's some chopped nuts with a little bit of carrot. So here's our chopped carrot. nuts. As you can see there, walnuts are soft, so they cut up really easily. Almonds, it looked like they did good. Peanuts, easy to chop up, so nice. All right. Let's put it back together. Now this is an apple. 
and uh, it's one of the hard apples. It's not a very sweet one. Let's see how it does. All right, you guys ready? Apple time. The apple. I, I think that does pretty good. Now, here's, here's something that I worry about. Because it, it, maybe it's me. If you have a lighter hand, maybe it's not so bad. But I feel like you got to really put some pressure on it with this hand to keep it from moving around so that you can get a good push, good leverage here. And I wonder if I'm putting too much stress here by doing that. It's gonna be my, my only long-term concern. But uh, I'm telling you guys, I'm very impressed. I think it's gonna work out great. Very happy with it. I will put all the uh, information in the video link if you want to check it out and see for yourself. All right, remember, we appreciate you. Take care, keep cooking, and we'll see you in the kitchen next time.